everything is wrapping up to big leaks that have just been revealed. Leaks about a Nintendo Direct happening very soon. The Switch 2 reveal also coming soon. And Nintendo changing their plans for the Switch 2's release again? What's going on? Now, the first of these leaks comes from a credible individual who's been right on many things, but not everything. Though he is the one who said we would receive an April Direct when, in fact, it didn't happen till June, he did give the exact date of the June Direct when it got closer. He was also the first to break the story regarding internal reports about how Nintendo changed their focus of when the Switch 2 would be released and decided to not release it in 2024 like they originally planned, but instead to release it in 2025. He revealed this even before other major news media outlets found out about it, like VGC, Eurogamer, Bloomberg, and many more. If you've looked into the sources of these leaks before, then you would know that I'm talking about PH Brazil, aka Piranha Plant. Since the leak he made about the next Nintendo Direct was posted on a hidden thread on FamilyBoards.com, I'm not going to show the original post here because of the rules prohibiting hidden posts from being reposted, but it was mentioned outside of Family Boards on Reddit with this. PH Brazil claims an indie world is happening in September, while hinting a Nintendo Direct will be held soon. And in a Portuguese post that was translated to English, Universal Nintendo says this about it. Influencer and journalist PH Brazil, through messages on the Family Boards forum, suggested that Nintendo plans to change the display of its traditional presentation of independent games in the second half of the year. According to him, instead of being broadcast during the month of August, the next Indie World should take place sometime during the month of September. This broadcast usually precedes a number of gaming events that are scheduled for the second half of the year, including PAX, Germany's Gamescom, and Tokyo Game Show 2024. It would be an interesting scheduling change, not only because of the timing of this event itself, but also because Nintendo usually holds Nintendo Direct broadcast during the month of September. For now, Nintendo has not publicly announced any events focused on game announcements for this or the coming months. Stay tuned. So, according to this news, the traditional Indie World Direct that usually happens in August will be moved to September. But that's not a big deal to me. What I'm more interested in is why. Why is this Indie World going to happen in September instead of August? Is Nintendo moving things around to make room for something else in August? It was mentioned that though PH Brazil claimed the Indie World Direct would happen in September, he hinted that a Nintendo Direct will be happening soon. Is there going to be a Nintendo Direct in August? If you like what you've seen so far, make sure you subscribe so you won't miss out on anything. So how soon is it going to happen? And what's this Nintendo Direct going to be focused on? Is it going to be the Switch 2 reveal? If you just want to stick to the official communication from Nintendo, the only thing we know to be concrete is that Nintendo will announce the successor to the Nintendo Switch before the end of the fiscal year or March of 2025, as Nintendo President Furukawa said in this post earlier this year. But we are seeing reports coming in, like shipping data for Switch 2 manufacturing components that hint that Nintendo is ramping up for it. With how close things seem, the questions some people are asking now are, when will Nintendo officially reveal the console and will there be a Nintendo Direct before the reveal? As with the last leak, this information also comes from the journalist PH Brazil. Now, the longer someone is in gaming journalism, the more connections they make with developers who may spill the beans behind the curtain with what they're being told. And some of this could be related to these developers getting things ready for some kind of console reveal, which makes this leak very interesting. This leak is shown in a publicfamilyboards.com post, where a user translated some of what was said in PH Brazil's podcast from Portuguese to English with the following. According to our own Brazil, 
the journalist who broke the news about the 2025 Switch 2 release, Nintendo seems to have brought forward some plans regarding the Switch 2's release schedule. Some presentations, he doesn't specify which ones, that were scheduled for the end of September seem to have been brought forward to the next couple of weeks. He also says that the current podcast, link below, should be one of the last before news about the Switch 2 really starts to pop up. He also adds, and this seems to be just his personal opinion, that the Switch 2's release schedule will follow more or less the same route as what we saw with the Switch 1. So if these claims do end up being true, it's going to be an exciting time for us Nintendo fans. Because if you look at PH Brazil's podcast schedule of having a weekly show and the claim that his current podcast should be one of the last before the Switch 2 news starts to pop up, the reveal has got to be happening very soon. Now that's not necessarily going to happen in the presentations that were pushed up to the next couple of weeks, but it could be presentations that Nintendo wants to get out of the way before they reveal the Switch 2. So what presentations could be happening in the next couple of weeks? And I'm not talking about the Nintendo Museum video that Nintendo released on Monday, if that's what you're wondering this was. Even PH Brazil said this wasn't the presentation he was talking about. This was revealed with the following. PH Brazil doubles down on Nintendo presentation statements, says another is coming this month. Now he's then replying to someone who's essentially criticizing him. That post reads as follows. It was smart of Brazil to not specify the type of presentation that he hinted at because now he can come out and say, I never said which type of direct it'd be. Anyways, there's no chance he'd have a source with info on Nintendo's museum. PH Brazil responds with, I understand this attitude because most people out there are just making stuff up, but I'm not. I don't mind it on ERA or elsewhere, but it does annoy me to see it here. I've given you info on every single presentation this past year and more. But to your point, no, this wasn't all I was talking about. There's more coming this month. Why would I suggest? This would cause movement in the speculation thread. So yes, PH Brazil is dead set on a direct happening in the next couple of weeks. It's not the Nintendo Museum Direct from Monday or the Indie World Direct that should be happening in September. It could be a Partner Direct, a Direct Mini, or even a Game Specific Direct. But since we just recently got a deep dive into Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, I don't think we'll get a Game Specific Direct this time. I'm leaning into a partner direct where Nintendo will showcase games from their direct partners to build hype for this holiday season of games coming to the Nintendo Switch. I don't think it will be an official first party direct since Nintendo already showed many, many first party Nintendo games that will be released later this year and next with their June direct. And it probably won't be an Indie World direct since that seems to be happening in September. Now, with these presentations being moved from the end of September to August, and even the Indie World Direct happening in September, do these presentations also include the reveal or the first look trailer for the Nintendo Switch 2? That's the million dollar question, right? If we are to believe PH Brazil about his projections for the Switch 2 reveal, where he feels the Switch 2's release will follow the same route as what we saw with the Switch 1, then we should expect the Switch 2 to be revealed in October. Radio silence during the holiday season and a big blowout event in January with the ultimate launch in March of 2025. I can see Nintendo following this same strategy they did for the Switch because of the huge success it had. But the arena has changed. Before the Switch was revealed in October of 2016, Wii U sales were plummeting and Nintendo needed to do something fast to appease investors with the promise of their profits going back up. And the promise of a new, more successful system was the answer with the Switch. The Nintendo Switch has been the best-selling console Nintendo has ever had and sales are still increasing. Because of this, there is a possibility that Nintendo will hold off on revealing the Switch 2 till after this holiday season and focus only on the original Switch till next year.
This would have the reveal happen in January or February, which is technically still in this fiscal year for Nintendo, and then launch it further out into the next year. I hope that this is not the case, and these rumors from PH Brazil are hinting that he doesn't think this is the case either. But we are talking about Nintendo here, who can make changes on the whim and hasn't made anything official about its state yet. Internal plans can shift behind the scenes all the time, and we might not know till it actually happens. There it is. But whether the reveal happens this year or next, there have been recent rumors that Nintendo has changed the release plans for the Switch 2 again by doubling down on their focus for the Switch this year and not releasing the Switch 2 till after the fiscal year. The Switch has outlasted all of Nintendo's previous consoles by being the most successful console Nintendo has ever had, and it seems they want to soak everything they can out of it before the Switch 2 comes. That doesn't mean they won't reveal the Switch 2, since they officially said they will sometime between now and March of 2025, but it looks like it probably won't be released or launched for us to buy till after this fiscal year, which hopefully isn't too far away. These rumors come from not only the head of GamesIndustry.biz's Christopher Dring, but also Takashi Mochizuki, who's one of the lead reporters at Bloomberg on all things Nintendo. VGC talks about this rumor by saying, Developers reportedly told not to expect Switch 2 to launch before April 2025. Switch's successor is seemingly set to be released during Nintendo's next financial year. That's according to GamesIndustry.biz head Chris Dring, who discussed launching plans for Switch's successor on the publication's latest podcast. Nintendo confirmed in May that it will announce its next console during its current fiscal year, which runs until March 31st, 2025. No developer I've spoken to expects it to be launching this financial year, Dring said. In fact, they've been told not to expect it in the current financial year. A bunch of people I spoke to hope it's out in April or May time, still early next year, not late. I don't think any of us wants a late launch for Switch 2 because we all want a new Nintendo console. Everyone gets very excited for it, and we don't want that crunch of Grand Theft Auto 6 and Switch and all that kind of stuff on top of each other. Having launched in March 2017, Switch is in its eighth year on the market. In July, it surpassed the Famicom as the Nintendo console with the longest lifespan before being replaced. Reporting its first quarter earnings this month, Nintendo said Switch has sold 143.42 million units as of June 30, 2024. It expects to sell 13.5 million Switch consoles this financial year, having sold 2.1 million in the first quarter. If Nintendo hits its hardware sales target, Switch will be within touching distance of the all-time record for console sales, which is currently held by PS2. Speaking further on the Switch 2's release, Bloomberg's Takashi Mochizuki posted on X with Toyo Securities analyst Hideki Yasuda says Nintendo's next gen would come first half next year. GamesIndustry.biz previously said it wouldn't come this fiscal year. That means the launch would be sometime between April and June 2025. If we are to believe these reports, it looks like the Switch 2 could launch in the first half of next year, but after March, with most people hoping for April or May like I am. But it all depends on Nintendo's strategy here. Now, unfortunately, there could be a worst case scenario where Nintendo is so focused on the Switch this holiday season that there will be nothing said regarding the Switch 2 till next year when they reveal it within the fiscal year that ends in March 2025 and it doesn't come out till the holiday season of 2025. Luckily, all of the rumors I've seen are suggesting that this is not the case. Now, I have my own predictions on upcoming presentations and the Switch 2 release date. Don't think I'm saying anything official here because Nintendo will do what they will do and it may or may not follow this format. But from the rumors I've seen, I suspect that the upcoming events, trailers, and release dates could be as follows. We'll have a Nintendo Partner Direct sometime in the next couple weeks. 
We'll have an Indie World Direct in September. We'll have a quick Nintendo Switch 2 first look trailer and a Direct Mini in October. Because Nintendo already acknowledged the existence of the Switch 2 earlier this year, I think they'll still show us a tiny teaser trailer of it to sate our thirst of it so we won't be wondering about it this whole time. Then immediately after the trailer, they'll have a direct mini that will showcase why we should still get Switch games this year with the big ticket games that will come out and it will talk about a reduced cost for getting the Switch console this holiday season if anyone hasn't picked one up yet who still wants to get one. Then next year, we'll get a huge Switch 2 Deep Dive trailer in January that will showcase its features and heavy hitting games that will be available at its launch. And my fingers are crossed to have the Switch 2 come out in April of 2025. Hopefully this type of a schedule is followed so we can get some good information about upcoming releases, the Switch 2, and we can play on it sooner rather than later. But again, this is just my prediction of what I suspect, and Nintendo very well could have other plans of their own that are completely different. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, whether you agree or disagree with what I've said. Do you think we'll see a Partner Direct soon and Indie World Direct next, followed by the Switch 2 reveal with the Direct Mini in October, a deep dive of the Switch 2 in January, and finally the Switch 2 releasing no later than April? Or do you think Nintendo would do something no one's guessed yet? Let me know what you think. As always, Thanks for watching Alcantar Gaming. If you like this video, you're gonna love this one here.